I'm Miss Ginn, I'm the subject leader for art and I'm going to talk you through the GCSE art course. Art is all coursework based and we split this down into three stages. Year 9 is our foundation course, Year 10 is where we complete the main bulk of the coursework and sit a mock exam and Year 11 is for our final exam and finalising our portfolios. The foundation stage is designed to increase learners' confidence and capability with a range of media and techniques. These include painting, drawing, sculpture, printmaking and photography. We begin to develop understanding of assessment objectives and the process of completing a project. We also allow learners to experience all media and discover who they are as an artist. You get a choice over what media to use later on in the course and it's really important to recognise what you enjoy using and where your strengths lie. The main bulk of the coursework is completed in cohort 10. One of these projects is also a mock exam. Your portfolio counts for 60% of your final grade. We also allow time to refine this coursework portfolio in cohort 11. You're encouraged to make your own decisions about which artists to use and media to work with. Making a portfolio is a really personal process. Your sketchbook work is really important. The process is graded, not just the end product. Everything counts. Trips and visits are organised wherever possible. We surround learners in enriching experiences, doing our best to enhance their cultural capital. Online resources are also really encouraged, and the provision for these has really increased recently with online gallery tours and workshops. In cohort 11, we sit our final exam. This exam counts for 40% of our final grade. The titles come from the exam board and each learner chooses one. The exam starts in January and ends around Easter, giving approximately 20 hours of classroom time to complete the preparatory work and plan a final piece. 10 hours is the actual exam, is the time used to make the final piece they've previously planned. There is no written exam. The 10 hours is two days off timetable in the art rooms in exam conditions with normal lunches and breaks. At the end of this whole process, we get to have an exhibition. It's usually part of the summer arts evening where we can celebrate and share artists work. Who will thrive at GCSE art? Learners who genuinely enjoy the subject. You don't have to be good at it, but you have to enjoy it to stay motivated. Learners who like to challenge themselves to be creative. Learners who are prepared to keep trying and exploring, even when things don't go the way they hoped or planned. And learners who are prepared to work for at least one hour per week at home. Independent study isn't optional, and it really shows if you don't do any. So frequently asked questions for you. Cohort 10 have told me that art's a lot of work. Is this true? Yes, it can be a lot of work. That's the nature of 100% coursework projects, but it is manageable as long as you keep up doing your IS and you stay motivated. The 10 hour exam sounds really intense. What's it like? The 10 hour exam is really relaxed and laid back. You have to follow exam rules, but at the same time, you have weeks to prepare for it and you go in knowing what you're going to do. It's like knowing the answers to the questions before you've even started. Is it true that you can only take art if you're amazing at drawing? You do not have to be an amazing artist to take art. You have to enjoy the subject to stay motivated. We follow a fine art course which allows you to use a meter of your choice to play to your strengths. So you could complete the course in printmaking or sculpture. You always have to draw something, but it's not always everything. If you have any other questions to ask or would like to know more about whether the subject is right for you, then please do email me.